It's Bolando After Dark. It's the first of many of our daily reports here for the Cure Bowl as the Knights are staying at the Lowe's Royal Pacific Resort here at Universal. And the Knights began the day with the practice before they made the long trek over to Universal Studios. We're going to throw it to our travel and weather correspondent, Mark Rucker. It might be a long trip ahead of us, but uh, you know what? We're going to stay prepared. And I have my uh, fellow linebacker here with me, Dimitri Brim. What are the things you're going to bring for this trip since it's such a long trip? Man, you gotta have a lot of snacks, man. I'm talking about Cheetos, Doritos. I think it's about a, what, 20 minute drive, bro? Oh, I thought it was 18 hours. Roll out, roll out. Oh, man, that was a long trip, bro. The only time to travel on our four is if you got a police escort. And shortly after the arrival, the players got back on the bus, and for once, traffic wasn't a problem heading down I-4 as the Knights arrived at the Amway Center to, to take in a welcome reception and a magic game. And we were fortunate to get a special report from our correspondent, Richard Causey, with a special interview on site. I have a question for you. Do you think you could beat me one-on-one -on -one in basketball? I think after this bowl game is over, we ought to try. See, that's a nice, respectful answer. And we're going to leave everyone tonight with our salsa dance of the day, and that's courtesy of A.J. Wooten. Come shake your body, baby, do that conga. I know you can't control yourself any longer. Come on, shake your body, baby, do that conga. And tomorrow for the nights, they begin the day with a practice at Dr. Phillips High School, which is right across the street from where they're staying. Following that will be a visit to Universal Studios to ride some rides and enjoy the theme park. And then they end the day with the team banquet. And you can follow that with the UCF Knights app and also on our website, ucfknights.com, as well as our social media outlets. For this edition of Bolando After Dark, I'm Chip Fontanaza.